In the V by default install what, what is called enhanced security. Enhanced security don't really uh, give you very much. It gives an extra little layer of security, but it really just gives a lot of hassle. So if I look at it here right now, file database alter, I'll see under advanced that my security model is currently set to enhanced in here. It don't give any extra permission. It's only if you connect from the vision uh, that it actually has a different. And the one thing it makes is that it requires you to run the synchronization of all logins. And this one is not just a few seconds. It can be minutes uh, for each user in the system, actually. So to switch um, so you don't use the uh, enhanced one, it's actually uh, quite easy in here. So if you go to File Database Alter, and you will then go in and say Standard. And as I click OK, it will tell me I must be in single user mode. So OK, that's fine. So then I will go in and say I want to, under Options, check the single user flag. And when I click OK, it just sits here and wait because it's not forcing other clients off. So to actually make the other ones um, stop, I'll go in here manually and actually stop all the processes. And I have uh, the NAS is not running, but down here I actually have uh, two service tiers. And as I stop those ones, and see in here, now the screen actually continued and I'm now running in single user mode in here. One thing is also, you can also change the recovery model. It also requires going to single user mode, but I wanted to change my uh, security model to standard in here and click OK. And as you do that one, it warns you that uh, it's going to disable something. This one's going to run pretty long, so if you have many users, so ensure you have a good connection to the database, maybe even running it on an NAV session directly on the database. So if I now look at my file database order, it now says standard, and I can now uncheck my single user down here. Uh, and now everyone can then connect to a database. So I can start my service tiers again. Um, and there's really nothing different than just switching that one setting about going from um, running with enhanced to just running standard. And basically the only reason now to do synchronize is uh, if you actually import new objects um, and it's really something that takes less than a second, even if you, it's undependent on the number of users and it runs real fast.